paralytic shellfish poisoning toxins. Shellfish poisoning is a general description for a seafood-borne illness that occurs when shellfish such as clams, oysters, scallops, or mussels containing toxins are ingested by humans, causing a variety of gastrointestinal and neurologic symptoms. Symptoms can appear within a few minutes after ingestion and can last for up to a few days. Severe poisoning may lead in some cases to death within 12 to 24 hours after onset of the symptoms. The major categories of shellfish poisoning are based on the symptoms manifested and the specific toxins responsible. Saxitoxin Being one of the most serious and most common paralytic shellfish poisoning, or PSP, remains the most costly problem associated with HABs. PSP was first clearly described in 1689 by Captain George Vancouver during his exploration of the Pacific Northwest. As the name implies, PSP causes death by paralysis, usually from respiratory arrest after ingestion of the PSP toxin. As little as 0.5 milligrams of the toxin can be lethal in humans when ingested, and children are particularly more susceptible to the toxin's effects. The minimum lethal dose is 0.5 milligrams to 12.5 milligrams. In children, the minimum lethal dose is estimated to be 25 nanogram per kilogram. PSP toxins consist of a suit of related neurotoxins known collectively as saxitoxins and referred to as STX. The term was eponymously derived from the Alaskan butter clam, Saxidomus giganteus, from which saxitoxin was first isolated. All saxitoxins are low molecular weight, water-soluble, nitrogen-containing compounds, which can be structurally classified into carbamoyl, sulfamate, and decarbamoyl groups. PSP toxins are also heat and acid-stable and cannot be destroyed by cooking the contaminated shellfish or be deactivated by stomach acids. Saxitoxins are produced by a species of pyrodinium, gymnodinium, and alexandrium marine dinoflagellates, and by several species of freshwater cyanobacteria, such as anabena, cylindrospermosis, and lingbia. Saxitoxin is a sodium channel blocker. It exerts its neurotoxic effects by binding to the target receptors associated with sodium channels in many excitable cells. This binding effectively blocks the entry of sodium ions into cells, which inhibits action potential and signal transduction. Toxic potency of the saxitoxin variants depend on their binding affinity for the sodium channel receptor. The more potent saxitoxins will bind more strongly to the receptor than do the less toxic forms.